In this video, we want to demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed reinforcement learning-based user-guided motion planning method in generating motion plans for new tasks. First of all, we recorded kinesthetic demonstrations of five most common tasks in certain assembly and loading or loading environment, including two screwing tasks, one filling task, one pouring task, and one stacking task. All these human demonstrations are recorded in the joint space using the recording capability of the UR5E robot. Using forward kinematics, corresponding human demonstrations are obtained in the task space. Features of these five human demonstrations are saved in a library. After the library is set up, in order to obtain a general motion planning policy for the assembly and the loading or loading scenario, we specify 20 new tasks that cover all features of human demonstrations to train the RL-based motion planner. After training, a setting motion planning policy is obtained. Following which, a motion plan in the task space can be generated given new task constraints in the task space. Using inverse kinematics, the corresponding motion plan in the joint space can be obtained to control the robot through TCP IP. The library of human demonstrations contains five tasks. In screwing task 1, the end effector is required to twist the screwdriver 90 degrees clockwise while moving straight forward. In screwing task 2, the end effector is required to twist the screwdriver 90 degrees anti-clockwise while moving backwards. In the pouring task, the end effector is required to hold the cup horizontally at first, then turn down 90 degrees. In the filling task, the end effector is required to hold the cup vertical to the ground at first, then turn up 90 degrees. In the stacking task, the end effector is required to stack the small block up to the big one. To evaluate this trained motion planning policy, three experiments are conducted. In the first experiment, the end effector is required to transfer a cup of water while avoiding an obstacle. A safety protocol is given as a safety shell that the trajectory of the end effector cannot penetrate through. Knowing this task and the environment constraints, we can specify this transferring task with four critical configurations. Using our proposed method, a motion plan that maps the feature of stacking to this transferring task is generated. In the second experiment, the end effector is required to fill one cup with water at two specific locations and then pour water into another cup. Since all features of the task are covered in the library, a motion plan that maps features of human demonstrated filling, stacking, and screwing task to corresponding segment of the task is generated. In the third experiment, the end effector is required to disassemble a screw from assembly hole 1 and then twist the screw into assembly hole 2. Our RL-based motion planner cannot generate a motion plan because no feature saved in the library is semantically similar to transferring a screw from assembly hole 1 to assembly hole 2. After adding another human demonstration and then retrain the RL-based motion planner, the appropriate motion plan can be generated to satisfy all task constraints.